this is the supination of the palm here you can see anatomical snuff box that is present at the dorsal aspect of the hand and dorsal lateral side anatomical snuff box present in normal condition you can't see anatomical snuff box but during extension of the thumb here you can see this box that is known as anatomical snuff box boundary of anatomical snuff box so here you can see anterior boundary that is formed by here you can see surface marking me you can see that is two tendons of policy sub group of muscle that is extensor pollicis brevis and abductor pollicis longus they form anterior boundary of the snuff box posterior boundary of anatomical snuff box that is formed by extensor pollicis longus muscle base of the anatomical snuff box that is formed by styloid process of the radius bone this anatomical snuff box that is covered with skin after removal of skin you can see this one dorsal venous arch dorsal venous arch lateral end of dorsal venous arch continue forward as a cephalic vein so they are the main content superficial content of anatomical snuff box that is cephalic vein here you can see this one cephalic vein at the superficial fascia of anatomical snuff box the floor of anatomical snuff box that is formed by this bony prominences they are from above to down number 1 styloid process of radius bone number 2 scaphoid that is a proximal row carpal bone number 3 trapezium that is a distal row carpal bone and this one here you can see first metacarpal bone and base of first metacarpal bone that also including here here you can see this one dissected anatomical snuff box where we already removed the skin of anatomical snuff box after removal of skin here you can see this one cephalic vein that is situated at the superficial relation of anatomical snuff box with cephalic vein there is a branches of you can say cutaneous nerve or you can say superficial branches of radial nerve also present in superficial fascia of anatomical snuff box after superficial fascia removal here you can see boundary of anatomical snuff box anterior boundary of anatomical snuff box that is made up of two tendon that is abl that is abductor pollicis longus and extensor pollicis brevis these two tendon they form anterior boundary of anatomical snuff box posterior boundary of anatomical snuff box that is made up of you can say extensor pollicis longus in short these three 1 2 and three muscle this three policies group of muscle they are responsible for formation of anatomical snuff box in deep relation of anatomical snuff box here you can see that is a radial artery radial artery that is a deepest structure present in anatomical snuff box